Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. So Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and pull some energy for you, see what is going on in your life. Remember these messages are general, not everything is going to resonate. Just take what does, apply it, leave the rest. This is timeless, so whenever you click on this video, that is when these messages could be meant for you. Personal reading information as well as distance freaky healing is below. So let's go ahead and get into your energy. Spirit, give me some messages for Pisces. Oh, I have wisdom. This is my when you know better, you do better card. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, um, I heard logic, um, intuition. I feel like you're definitely trusting your intuition more. And it's like, <laughs> I'm just looking at her eyes. It's just kind of like, you know, you're really using your discernment when it comes to people. And you're not just, you know, um, taking people's word. You're really paying attention to their actions. Tell me more for Pisces. It's like um, you're becoming more skeptical about someone, Pisces. For some of you, I'm getting like you're just kind of like shocked. Shocked at someone's behavior. I heard true colors. Okay, shocks at someone's true colors. Like you can't believe this person is who they actually turned out to be. Like you had a whole different viewpoint of this individual or of these people. Tell me more. I heard ghosting. So I feel like you're ghosting someone. You're definitely pulling back your energy. I'm hearing hermit. Yeah. You're in hermit. No, you're setting boundaries. Yep. I heard I'm nobody's fool. So yeah, you're no longer playing the fool, Pisces. You're learning how to say no. You're learning how to set boundaries. Um, you're focusing on yourself. You put in you first, Pisces. I feel like for some of you people are not used to this. Um, they're used to you. I heard like people pleasing. I heard always having their hand out. So you may be dealing with people that always comes to you and, and want you to do things for them, asking you for favors, asking you for money. But it's like you have learned, you have grown, you, you have matured. So it's like you understand. I heard codependency that a lot of these relationships that you have in your life are codependent. They are dependent upon you to take care of them, their needs to get them out of situations. So now you know that... I have to start focusing on me because it's like I heard lack. You're going into lack. And then whenever you're struggling, I heard you're starting to see now. So for some of you, you're going through a hard time and it's like you're starting to see now who's really for you. That Those same people that come to you for favors, advice, when it's your turn, they know where to be found. So it's like you're learning how to say no. You're treating people how they deserve to be treated. You're putting people in their place, rightfully so. So let's go ahead and get into some more energy. Spirit, tell me more for Pisces. <laughs> wrong way. The direction that you were moving in was the wrong way. Make a U-turn. So yeah, for some of you, like you may have chosen the wrong path. But then you was like, let me back it up. <laughs> switch directions obsessed someone is obsessed with you i feel like you have a stalker somebody that watches your every move i heard password passcode pisces make sure like um if this person had access to any of your information make sure that you change like your passwords i heard system i heard system lock for some of you this person may be trying to lock you out of your own accounts I have manifest your desires are within reach. So I feel like this is just you um, trying to create a better life for yourself. Um, having goals, focusing on things that are truly going to help you prosper. I heard I have a dream. So I feel like for some of you, you could be working like on a specific project, um, business plan. It's like there's something that you're working on. 
um, I heard favorably that it's going to pay off for you. You put a lot of time and energy. I heard investment. Yes, you've made a wise investment when it comes to this. And things are going to, I heard, speed up for you, Pisces. I heard um, when you least expect it. So this opportunity is coming in or things are going to take off for you when you least expect it. And then I have termination. You may be getting let go from a job. You're fired. So I feel like for some of you, this is just you kicking people or a certain person out of your life saying, uh-uh, manifesting endings. Yeah, for some of you, you're manifesting endings. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, I have signs and symbolism. Watch for the signs from the universe. So it's kind of like, for some of you, you've been seeing like a lot of angel numbers. There's just been different things um, going on around you, Pisces, that's letting you know that it's time for you to switch directions. I'm hearing spook. I feel like something happened or is about to happen that's really going to like scare you. I heard like scared straight. <laughs> so it's going to scare you right on to the correct path. Let's get some more energy. Spirit, tell me more about wrong way for Pisces. Wrong way for Pisces. What do I have? The Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, for some of you, this is you dealing with your family, overgiving. And it's like now your finances look kind of crazy because you've been doing too much. Yeah, for some of you, um, this is you letting go of like a family situation, a marriage, a higher level of commitment. I'm getting all falls down by Kanye West and Lauren Hill. So things are starting to fall apart between you and this person or between you and your family members. Tell me more about wrong way for Pisces. The Knight of Wands. So for some of you, um, you could be in this player energy um, or this could be someone that you're dealing with. But I feel like somebody was not um, taking action in the right direction. Whatever it is that you were doing, it wasn't paying off for you. It's like you created more stumbling blocks for yourself by not operating in a higher vibration, by choosing wrong, doing things that you were not supposed to be doing, things that were not going to be beneficial for your life, or this could be someone who you're dealing with. Yeah, the two of swords. Six of Wands, the Chariot in the reverse. For some of you, you could be dealing with a cancer. But it's like the decisions that you were making just kept you stuck. You didn't get no gratification out of it. You wasn't seeing any success. Nothing was growing for you because of the choices you were choosing to make. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse for Pisces. Seven of Pentacles. So right now you're just looking at what you don't invested your time into. Like you know you took the wrong path. You know you chose wrong. Like you're just looking at like everything that you've been given to. And you're realizing it didn't equate to nothing. You didn't gain anything. If anything, you lost. You're looking at what you've been investing into. And you're realizing how much you've actually lost. And... I'm getting like set yourself back. Like you feel like you set yourself back. Like you have to start all over from scratch, from the bottom. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. It's like whatever it is that you were giving to, it didn't pay off. Or whatever this person was giving to, it didn't pay off. It's just like the wrong way. Because that path was not yours. It wasn't meant for you to take. You were supposed to switch directions. For some of you, you waited too long and like you ended up losing a lot in the process. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands in the reverse. For Pisces. The Two of Pentacles. So I heard nothing leaves nothing. So it's like whatever you was given to, whatever this person was given to, they were left with nothing. It's like it was just an empty investment. Tell 
Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. Like somebody had to lose in order to learn how to set boundaries. Somebody had to go through this cycle. Somebody had to learn this lesson that whatever path they were going down, it wasn't the right path. It was just going to be a path of destruction, a path of loss. So if you keep on being a yes man or yes, the yes man or the yes woman, the only person that was going to be affected, the only person that was going to lose out was you or was this person. So they had to learn, I heard, the hard way by taking some hard losses. But now this person is ready to go on the winning team or you're ready to go towards the winning team. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Look at, come on. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person or you, you just kept missing out on opportunities. You kept missing out on opportunities because you were going towards the wrong thing. I heard you trusted the wrong person, trusted the wrong situation, and it caused you to miss out big time. It's like God withheld your blessings because you wasn't doing what was right. Or hell or withheld this person's blessings. Take it, you know, as it resonates. Tell me about obsession. God is never going to bless you if you're in the wrong situation. That's how you know something's not meant for you. Because things start to go down. Tell me about obsession for Pisces. So somebody had to wisen up. Had to learn some hard lessons. Tell me about obsessions. The nine of wands. Yeah, this person keeps going and going and going. Like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> yeah, this person won't stop. Like, mm-mm. Somebody is obsessed. For some of you, this person could be obsessed with this Nine of Pentacles energy. Somebody who's very stable and confident. Somebody who works, I heard she works hard for the money. Yes, somebody who works hard for what they have. And it's like this person just stuck. Like they can't move on. Somebody is literally obsessively watching you. Yeah, somebody is upset upset at your growth or at, or at this person's growth at this at their prosperity somebody doesn't like what they see but they keep on watching the hermit in the darkness in secret this person watches you or watches another energy and then it's like when they watch you right <laughs> this person watching you pisces and then I had an eight of wands. So they're watching you. This is a choice <laughs> that they are making to watch you. So they watch you. And then with the eight of wands, they talk bad about you. So as they're watching you, they're saying negative things to you, sending you evil eye. But they're choosing to watch you. Like all they have to do is go do something else, you know, focus on themselves. So it's kind of like, you know, this person is torturing themselves. They're making their, their selves unhappy. And they don't realize it. By focusing on the wrong person instead of focusing on themselves. Somebody's obsessed with what you have or what this person has. Tell me more about obsession. Tell me about obsession. Oh. So I have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse. So this could have been somebody who was like trying to compete with you. Somebody who, you know, who was trying to, I'm getting slander, gossip about you. 
Somebody who really wanted to make life hard. This person definitely wanted, wanted to make you miss out on opportunities. Or they did make you miss out on an opportunity, Pisces. I feel like whatever conflict that this person created, it made you miss out. For some of you, it made you miss out on a relationship, a connection. But I heard intentionally, like this was done intentionally. I'm also hearing this person got other people involved as well. But they kept doing something they wouldn't stop because this person was obsessed or is obsessed. Let's clarify. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for Pisces. The nine of wands for Pisces. Oh, the ace of swords and the page of cups. So there's some truth and clarity that is getting ready to come out. For some of you, I'm just getting, just the way I'm looking at this page of cups and the ace of swords, like, somebody wants to blind you from the truth. I feel like whatever this in this cup is kind of like deception, is deceit. Somebody's trying to blind you from the truth. Somebody don't, wanna, um, don't want you to see what's right before you. Somebody wants to keep you in an illusion. For some of you, I'm just getting like just a very immature energy. It's like the truth is here. Clarity is here. But it's like this person want to come in and kind of like talk their way out of it. Sweet talk you. Get you to listen to their side or believe their side. That's what I'm getting. Like this person will stop at nothing. I heard like all costs. Like this is somebody that wants to win at all costs. Tell me about the Knight of Cups in the reverse. The Six of Swords. So someone is trying to get you to come back towards them. Six of Swords. This person is trying to lure you. Yeah. I'm also getting like this person with the Ace of Swords. Like they're trying to promise you something. This person is like making a promise. So that they can get you to come back towards them. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. But this is obsession. This person is toxic. Tell me about the Five of Swords. <laughs> I can't make this up. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Be very mindful with this person. Because all of these cups. There's just something about these cups. About what you drink, Pisces. Um, I actually heard alcoholic. <laughs> so for some of you, you may have a substance abuse issue, but it's something about like what you drink, when you drink. This person um, is trying to put something in your drink. Be very cautious with this person. I heard an evil energy. That's exactly how Spirit said it. An evil energy. Be very mindful. This person wants you to be defenseless. Yes. This person wants to leave you defenseless. And I keep hearing intoxicated. So this person could be trying to get you like overly drunk. Wants you to drink in excess. So they can leave you defenseless. This person is planning something. So just make sure you're aware. Do not drink anything. Eat anything from this person. Whatever they give you. Throw it away or don't even take it at all. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, this could be someone you have a family with or had a family with. You're in a higher level of commitment with this person. Tell me about Manifest for Pisces. Manifest for Pisces.
the wheel sagittarius energy so yes you have fell on the wheel of fortune the good part of the wheel of fortune <laughs> So I feel like what it's now, I heard destined, like whatever that is getting ready to happen in your life, it is destined. I heard like take off. Things are getting ready to really take off for you, Pisces. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the star, Aquarius energy. So you could do something online, social media, be in the public eye in some way, but you are getting ready to take off. You are manifesting your level up. You are manifesting your level up. And now is the time. This is destined to happen. Whatever happens now, Pisces, or whatever is coming in, is happening soon. And Spirit God wants you to know that this is destined. This is your destiny. This Spirit says, whatever happens, it was meant to happen the way it happened. Don't question it. So whatever comes in for you, however it comes, Pisces, understand that it was meant to happen the way that it did. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Ooh, some major arcana. Spirit, tell me more about this Devil Energy. For some of you, there's someone trying to block what it is that you're trying to manifest. Tell me more about the devil. Know that you have control. Spirit says the power is in your hands. Like with this devil energy, like the power is within your hands. You have control. You are in control. Somebody needed to hear that you are in control. You may feel like things are out of balance, but no, they're not. You have control. Things are not out of balance. Things are happening the way it is for a reason. Yeah, I have the Ten of Swords. Everything is fine in the reverse. So yeah, somebody's trying to betray you. Yeah, somebody wants to backstab you, cause delays in your life. Somebody wants you defeated. Somebody wants you defeated. Um, Pisces, make sure you're checking your account, your bank account, your bank statements. I heard stealing money. There could be someone there could be someone trying to steal money or who has already stolen from you. So make sure that you check you check your bank accounts. For some of you, I feel like you have already checked your bank account and you're noticing like I heard money missing, money missing. Yeah, I heard like close. I heard keep your enemies close and your friends even closer. So this is definitely someone that you know. But yeah, make sure that you're keeping up with your accounts. Yeah, somebody wants to ultimately like defeat you. I'm just looking at this sword that's in her neck. Like somebody wants you laid out. Somebody don't ever want you to recover. Somebody wants to destroy your life. Somebody is highly toxic. I feel like whatever this person is doing, whoever this person is, going back to the Wheel of Fortune, like it is time for this information to come out. So something's about to come out about this person and it is time for it to come out. This is God's spirit orchestrating these events so that I heard exposure so that people can be exposed. Tell me about the star for Pisces. do I have the four of pentacles in the real first and the ace of wands and I heard it keeps giving <laughs> that's what spirit just said to me it's going to keep on giving you're about to move to the next level and God is saying it keeps giving it's going to keep giving whatever it is that you're doing whatever success that you're about to see it's going to keep giving um 
I'm getting um Rivers. I think it's by Marvin Sapp. But it's it's it talks about um flow life. I cannot um because it's been a while since I've listened to that song. It's a gospel song, but he says flow life. It's kind of like um the rivers will never stop flowing in your life like once things start to take off that's it i heard boom it's just going to continue to grow you're going to continue to elevate things are going to continue to come in things are going to continue to flow to you the river is never going to run dry this is god giving you this this is god moving you forward god is carrying you pisces the river will never run dry. I feel like um, for some of you, you could be uh, having a lot of people wanting to give you money. I heard shout you out. Somebody's going to shout you out. I heard call you by name. You, I heard donations. You're going to be getting a lot of donations. Yeah, people are really going to give to you, are going to pour into you, pour into whatever it is that you are doing. I heard online, especially if you have an online presence, online business. Yeah, these are just people who are just going to want to be very generous, charitable to you. I heard they like what you do because they like what you do and I heard they like what you say. So for some of you, you could be like a public speaker. But people like the information that you give, that you put out. And people are going to want to sow into you. Sow a seed into your business. God is literally like pushing you forward. That's what I see with this Ace of Wands. Like God is literally pushing you forward to the next level. Let's get some messages for termination. Spirit, tell me about termination for Pisces. Termination for Pisces. <laughs> the Nine of Swords and the Lovers in the Reverse. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but somebody got to go. I just heard, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more. Yes. Um, somebody finna hit the road. And don't you come back. Like, you kicking somebody out. You done. You can't come back here. You have been terminated. <laughs> so, yeah, you are letting go of a relationship, a connection. And this person is stressed out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. For some of you, this person can't sleep at night. They're up all times at night. Like, look at these swords. Like, this person is really going through it mentally. This person definitely is crying a lot. I heard they're losing weight. I'm even getting like wetting the bed. So somebody could like be also having issues like um, holding, you know, their, their bladder movements. Yeah, but somebody's really stressed. I'm also getting somebody could also be in jail. Or be afraid to about going to jail. Tell me more for the Nine of Swords. For Pisces. The Nine of Swords for Pisces. Ooh, okay. The Eight of Cups. Yeah. Somebody's stressing out because you walked away. Oh, yeah, you left. But some of you, I'm getting like, you took all you had. <laughs> you took all that you had. Even if it was just clothes on your back and you walked away from this person. I feel like with this Eight of Cups, like, you gave this person, like, a lot of chances to change. But it just never did. I feel like these cups are just empty. With the moon, you were definitely guided to leave the situation behind. I'm also looking at the water. Like, this person, like, um, somebody, like, 
I'm getting the song, um, it makes me want to cry sometimes. Yeah, so it's kind of like that person um, had you in your emotions a lot. Like, for some of you, like, it was just a lot of um, pain that you felt from this person being in this relationship. You cried often, Spirit says, for some of you. It was very hard. It was very bumpy. There was just, like, a lot of ups and downs. I feel like this person promised to change but never did. For some of you, this person made it very difficult for you to leave. Like, I'm just looking at this water, and it's kind of like you literally had to hop over to get to this dry land. Like, this person made it very difficult, very challenging for you to walk away. But you finally did. And it's like you're not looking back. And this person's stressed out because, like, they know, like, I heard this is it. Like, they, I heard the final call. The curtain has closed. Yeah, this person knows that it is it. Yeah, no more. You ain't going back no more. Tell me more about the lovers in the reverse. For a Pisces. Dang, Pisces. It's like that. Two of cups in the reverse. Oh, you done done. <laughs> so really, like you done done. Like that's it. You ain't going back. Termination. Termination. It's over. Like this chapter, this cycle is done. Wisdom. Like you've learned a lot. Like you ain't putting up with nobody mass. Like if it looks like a duck, a class like a duck, it is a duck. You accepting people for exactly who they show you they are. You are done. And I feel like for some of you with this two of cups, this is like you cutting off friends as well. Not just this relationship, but you're walking away from friends, family, like people who just really are not in your life for the right reasons, who cause you a lot of stress, anxiety. I have the eight of wands in reverse. Like whoever you cut off or whatever people you left behind, they talking about you negatively. <laughs> They're in their feelings. They they are definitely talking about you, spreading rumors that I heard lies. They're lying as well. But I feel like you don't care. Because you're doing what's best for you, Pisces. And that's what it's all about. Choosing yourself. Because they're not going to choose them. They're not going to choose you over them any day. Tell me some final messages for Pisces. Final messages for Pisces. Okay. Look at what I have. Believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. What you believe is what you will create. You can do anything. So yeah, Pisces, you're being called to believe. Trust the process. Again, Spirit says, however something happens, however something comes in for you, it's meant to happen exactly that way. Don't question it. Believe that you are now on the right path. You're headed in the right direction. Just use whatever it is that you've been through as a learning experience. Again, when you know better, you do better. And you are doing better. You are making wiser choices. And it's like as long as, as you continue to remain positive, then you're going to continue to manifest the things that are for your highest good. What you will create, you can do anything. So what you create for yourself, it's just going to continue to increase your faith. And the more your faith is increased, the more you step outside of your comfort zone, the more you have what it is that you truly desire. So Pisces, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.